Hey everybody, it's Dr. O'Malley with The Laceration Course. We're gonna talk about something that you see on occasion, and that is your V-shaped laceration. Uh, sometimes it actually turns into a Y-shaped laceration. But how do you deal with these? How do you put something like this back together so that everything comes back together nicely, okay? So, as with all wounds, you're dealing with tissue that is under tension. So you have to take that into account. But what we're gonna do right now is just kind of talk about kind of the, uh, the, the concept and what you need to think about whenever you've got a wound like this. So we're just gonna do the V shape. We'll talk about the Y shape later and do that in, in another video. So, you know, not all wounds are created equal and definitely all wounds are not symmetric. So you're going to be looking at asymmetry in some of these wounds that you repair. This is a nice little symmetric shaped wound. Uh, everything looks nice and, and even on both sides. So whenever I approach one of these, what I try to do is get the apex of this wound secured and taken care of first. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is if you start on one of the ends, you're gonna start suturing, putting some knots in here, putting some sutures in, and then lo and behold, you're gonna get at the end and it's gonna be off center, offset. You're gonna have uh, unequal uh, lengths of laceration and tissue to, uh, to deal with. So I think that if you put your first suture down here in the middle, right at the apex of the wound, you're gonna have a better, a better end result and a better end outcome. And you can do this in two ways. If you don't have that much tissue to work with, you can put just a simple tacking suture down right here just to bring that together at the apex, okay? If it's a larger, uh, more broad piece of tissue that's coming across here, you could consider doing a horizontal mattress stitch, okay? So that would be coming in here, tying across a little bit, and then coming back and then tying right there. Um, with all tissue flaps like this, you gotta be careful with your blood supply. This end piece of tissue, this flappy area right here is not gonna have as great of a blood supply as the surrounding areas. So you don't wanna put so many needle sticks and you know needle punctures in here and, uh, and, and putting this under a lot of pressure because you're gonna end up strangulating that tissue. So we're gonna do two things here. So first of all, we're just gonna do a simple stitch at the apex of the wound. And again, really try to use your tissue forceps for manipulating the tissue in the needle. So we're gonna go in right here at the apex, coming in, trying to enter our tissue at 90 degrees. Okay, coming through, manipulate the tissue on the opposite side with your tissue forceps. Okay, pulling through. Okay. And then we're gonna do our standard instrument tie. Okay. Taking your needle driver, putting it down two throws, grabbing the, the tail and pulling it across. All right, so that's a nice, square knot, okay? And see, just after those two throws, there's enough grip within the suture material to kind of hold itself, all right? So it's important to put those two knots, or the two throws, the two loops uh, for your initial throw. And then you come back in, you grab the needle, or I'm sorry, the thread, and you're going in opposite directions each time, okay? opposite directions, three, four, five throws. All right, so that's a good way to secure that Y-shaped flap down whenever you're working with one of these types of lacerations, okay? And then we're going to snip right there so you've got your suture, all right? So what we'll do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna practice removing that stitch. So you can try to grab your knot, lift up the edge, make a little snip, pull it out. All right, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do this with the horizontal mattress just to demonstrate that, what that looks like. Okay. So, 
what we'll do is we're going to come in and I think that it's always important to tie your knots on the area, not the flap, okay, on your area with a, with a, a greater blood supply, the, uh, the dominant area of the wound and not the small flap. So I'm actually going to need to turn my needle around, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use my tissue forceps. Again, using my tissue forceps. About right there. Okay, so I've got enough of a tail. I'm gonna turn the needle around the other way. All right, so I've come in here, across and out of the tissue, down about that way. So I really wanna to try to be as symmetric as I can. All right, so I'm gonna come right down about here, and out through. using our tissue forceps and then come out right about here. All right. So then I'm going to do the same thing as with every single instrument tie. Make two loops, pull through, and I'll be tying down a square knot. You can see here how that, that tension is distributed across two different sutures <clears throat> that are going through the tissue, out and across, and back through. So this really just helps distribute the tension across the wound, all right? Less likely for, for strangulation. So I've, I've done my tooth throw instrument knot there and taking one throw and going across. Sorry about that. And coming across. All right, so I've done a couple throws there, and now we can simply cut the thread. All right, there you go, folks. So we have two um, ways to approach the Y-shaped laceration, one with a single suture across the apex and another with a horizontal mattress. I hope that's helpful. And then uh, actually, yes, yeah, since we're getting in the habit of removing one of these every time, you can remove this in two ways. One, you can do it over here on the flap side where you have the suture visible. You can cut right there, or you can cut closer to the knot. I think it's maybe a little bit easier to cut closer to the knot because it gives you something to hold on to. And then you just take that and pull through. All right, folks, thank you for joining. See you next time.